Welcome back, everybody. Dino Joe here. We got some top handles to run today. Steel MS201TC. Husqvarna T540 XP. It's the auto tune. And the Echo 355T. The Steel and the Echo are both 35cc. The Husqvarna is 38cc. All three saws have a muffler mod. The steel and the Husqvarna showed up with the muffler mod, so there was nothing I could do there. I decided to do the muffler mod on the Echo 355 to even things up. I'll show you the muffler mods. Get some weights full of fuel and oil. And we'll put them on the dyno. Alright, we'll take the shroud off. Hey, there's three screws. Take this deflector off, see what it looks like. I've never seen one of these up close before, so. Pull this deflector off, see what we're working with. Well, that would flow. This is just gonna be a real quick, easy, muffler mod just so we can test these i'll show you all right i'm back whip this up real quick one of my 2511 deflectors pinched it a little bit this way to get that hole in there and trimmed it up to fit just like the stock one so we'll bolt that on there all right since i'm just doing the dyno runs just using these two holes That'll hold it on. Similar size outlet to these other ones. Now it would clear the factory plastic, but you would have to notch this part of it out to use this style of mod. It really needs like a pipe welded onto a plate that comes out at an angle right here to get away with no trimming. But I'm not gonna about the same size outlet as the other ones. So We'll go to the dyno. Nine pounds, 2.1 ounce. For the Echo, 355T. Here's how the 201 TC showed up. This is the muffler mod the customer went with on this. This is a cut down 200T West Coast saw outlet. Nine pounds, 5.9 ounces for the 201 TC. Now I picked this 540 up used. You can see it has a rather extreme scrunch style muffler mod right here. That's the uh, scrunch style muffler mod. Pretty uh, wide open there. But this is what we had to work with. So this is what's getting run. Just wanted to show you guys. Nine pounds, six ounces for the Husqvarna 540 XP.
All right, here's the number results for the top handles. The steel 201's on top. 1.63 torque, 2.36 horsepower. Then it's real close between the other two. The 540 is a little bit lighter on torque than the Echo and the Steel, but the horsepower is up there, 2.24. The Echo, 2.21 horsepower and 1.62 foot pounds. So the torque on the Echo and the Steel are pretty much the same. I'll show you the lines on the graph so you can see the actual power band. All right, all these numbers were taken, the numbers in the box were taken from 9,100 RPM, right here, this red line. 201 TC, most power, 2.34 horsepower, 9,100, right here. The 540 and the 355 are almost identical. The 540, where it makes the most power, has a little bit smaller power band than the Echo and then the Steel. The Steel has the widest power band out of all three of them. Now remember, these are all muffler modded saws. But all three of these have an equivalent muffler mod. So You can see the 540 loses some torque to the Echo and the Steel. The Echo and the Steel, they put out pretty much the same type of torque. The Steel just runs out a little bit higher up top. So when it comes to top handles, you just have to look at price, dealer availability, and the weight. All three of these seem very comparable in the horsepower. The Husqvarna is going to leave you a little bit lacking in the torque department. The Echo and the Steel are very close in torque. All three of them put, about, put out about the same power. So it's really just a personal preference thing. All right, thanks a lot, everybody.